Welcome to the Tivoli Storage Manager 711 Operation Center Daily Report email feature. This is a new feature that we implemented based on customer needs and requests. It sends out a daily email with an executive summary of the data protection and health status of the TSM servers and client. The email can be sent to TSM admins or to emails of other interested folks who may not have domain expertise. To set up this daily report email feature, from inside of the Tivoli Storage Manager Operations Center 711, click on the global icon and choose Settings. Next, choose Daily Reports. Enter in the subject line that you want to appear on the email. Enter who this email should be sent from, the mail server you want to use, and the port and the time that you want to send the email out at. This is a time that we actually create the snapshot and capture the information that will be sent out in the email. Next, you'll enter email recipients. These will either be TSM admins who have an, an email associated with them, so I'm going to go ahead and add my name in, or you can add in an email address for someone who might be interested in this information. You'll click Save. And that's how simple it is to set up the daily report email feature. This is an example of the email that will be sent out. In this case, I'm showing it on Lotus Notes, but it's also supported on most email systems such as Outlook and web-based systems like Gmail. So this email is a summary that may be sufficient for IT managers who only need an overview that ensures the company is meeting the business goals for data protection. It shows information about the hub server and the spoke servers associated with that hub server for TSM. So in this case, we have nine TSM servers whose information we're showing. It shows the backup success rate, the number of TSM clients that we're protecting. This includes applications, virtual machines, and system machines. And it shows the server and storage statistics for the TSM database the TSM storage pools, and the storage devices. Administrators might want a more comprehensive drill down, and so they can choose to open this attachment. So this attachment includes four collapsible sections that have more granularity in each of them. So you can click on this collapsible section area, and then you'll have additional information showing up. If you click on the column header, you can sort the different columns. So in this case, if we click on storage pool names, it will sort by the storage pool name. These attachments are full of great information. In fact, we've had some customers mention that we might keep these for record keeping and historical data, almost like an audit trail that indicates the data protection history of the environment that they can possibly show for audit compliance for various regulatory requirements. These attachments are HTML Java based and they'll work with the primary browsers like IE and Firefox and other browsers with modern HTML Java support. So to review, daily email reporting is easy to set up. You click on the global icon, you choose settings, you click on daily reports, and then you enter the subject line for the email, who the email's from, the mail server address, the port, the time it needs to be sent, and then either TSM admin ID names or specific email addresses. If you do decide to disable this, you simply click the Disable Reporting and the emails will no longer be sent out. Now that you've seen how simple it is to set up, give this daily report email feature a try. You'll be pleased with how easy it is to receive a daily executive level report and a detailed attachment summarizing the data protection status of the TSM servers and clients that are being monitored by this operation center.